Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is a worm farm channel, uh, mostly in my basement, and uh, this here is an experimental bin where I have been feeding protein sources such as egg and meat. So last time we checked in was three weeks ago, and the worms had not eaten the uh, deer meat uh, meatloaf. So we're going to have a look in on them today. We gave them a little bit of worm chow to kind of help them out until the meat was available. Um, most likely made uh, useful by the uh, other critters in the bin. So we'll take this dry stuff up here and start digging around. We gave them a little bit of extra bedding and the uh, worm chow to, to give them something to work on until the, the meatloaf was ready. We've also had an experiment with the uh, chicken bones, and they are completely clean now. And uh, I was given a suggestion that I could take some sort of an implement and break them in half, and that would make the the bones more available to the the worms. So I don't have a pair of pliers or anything, but what I do have is a a branch pruner, and so I'm going to cut them in half and then we'll see what they do next time now that they have a method to get inside. That one must have been a little farther. It kind of crushed rather than just snapped. Okay, so there we go. Uh, all of the chicken bones that I have found are all now cut in half and we will keep an eye on them until they go away. Okay, so I'm just going to start moving things over here and slowly start creeping towards where we know the meatloaf was. Now, the previous time, three weeks ago, that we checked in on them, the meatloaf, uh, the worms were nowhere near it, which just means the bin critters that help out the worms hadn't done enough work yet. So as we're getting closer, we're actually seeing more worms, which last time the worms were staying away from the meat and so that was the sign that it wasn't ready yet. So I'm just gonna kinda take this dry stuff, I'll put that in my little bowl over here, just so we can keep an eye on it. Put that at the bottom so it can stay uh, damp for the worms. Now this was the first time that we had seen any problem with the worms not eating the item that we put in here. Well, it looks like they're doing something now. It doesn't smell bad now. Last time, it looks muddy, but it doesn't smell bad. So that's good. They are finally getting into it. I'm still seeing a lot of uh, roly polies in there. I'm kind of trying to look to see if there are other critters. Seeing some mites. So it looks like they're getting into it. There's still worms over here, but I would not say that is complete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some more bedding uh, and get this moisturized in here because it just feels like it's getting too sticky. I think last time I thought maybe it was getting too dry and that's why the worms weren't getting into it. Um, but now I think I've gone too far and now it's too sticky. So let's get them some bedding. So I do now have a, a good surplus of leaves in my yard and also the leaves will be a good place to have beneficial microbes that can help out with you know, a harder food to eat, such as uh, meatloaf. So I'm gonna turn those in and mix those in with those rather wet castings slash food. And hopefully that will result in the worms being able to finish off whatever was going on in there. Because like I said, the time before when I got in here, it really smelled bad. And now I'm not seeing, it doesn't smell bad but it is too sticky. So we're gonna get that mixed in and put the castings in, make the bin a little bit more homogenous now. And that way, hopefully, I mean, this is an experimental bin. I'm not telling you to run out and feed meatloaf to your worms. I'm telling you that I'm doing this experiment for you to kind of let you see what does it take to get the job done and things that had vegetables in them seemed to go a little bit better. Eggs, they didn't seem to have any problem eating eggs. 
and um, well, we had a soup stock that was barley and beef and tomatoes, and they ran through that like super fast, didn't even miss a beat. But this deer meatloaf, um, they really, you know, took well over a month to get into, you know, a couple of cups worth, not even a pound or a half kilo as the case may be. So, got this all homogenous now. The bin is getting a little full. So, but I think those leaves will definitely help out the moisture situation in here. I have been erring on the side of adding too much moisture because the furnace has been running and I have uh, historical problems with having very dry, um, very, very dry problems in the bins during the winter time. But here in Illinois, we're kind of oscillating between um, wet and dry. It's been raining for a couple of days here. So now that we've got everything mixed together and that meatloaf is for what I can tell gone, now they're going to get some more of that soup stock that we had seen them eat with no problem. And we're gonna do that over here. So I know the bin is super full right now, but that's because the volume that the leaves are adding. This will completely knock down by the next time we come in. So I pureed up the soup stock, and that's about a liter with the water added. Again, I was kind of concerned that there would be moisture problems, which is why I pureed it up with some water. Uh, looking at the moisture of the bin right now, I don't think that was probably necessary, but that is basically what is happening here. So let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, protein bin. Um, a lot of people are very, very surprised that they're not getting protein poisoning, but of course, um, my research has showed me that protein poisoning is actually fermentation, kind of like the worms get gas, but they can't get rid of it like uh, dogs and humans can. Uh, it, and it just blows up their gut and kills them. So if you like the experiment, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.